Hi, I'm Andrew Buss. I'm a 2016 graduate from Bridgewater College, and I was also a part of the school's first recruiting class for the lacrosse team back in 2012. This Eagle Classic is our team's first game and win against Transylvania. This game was a really special moment in my life, and I know I can say the same for all my teammates and coaches that day, to finally go up against someone in a different color uniform uh, and, and compete against uh, a team was, was really special, and it's something that we'll always remember. Something I'll always remember about that game is actually the night before, Coach Grant wrote the team a letter and we were to take it back to our dorms and read it that night before going to bed. And the message was pretty simple. You know, we were about to be a part of something really special. And he was, it was something that he wanted us to really take in and enjoy. And I'll always remember that night and that day and the celebration afterwards and how much it meant to, you know, the program to get that first win. Bray's coming around, got a shot, controlled by the Eagles still. There we go. Score, Joshua Frey. Great pass over the top of the goal to Frey, puts it in, right at the crease. That's the first goal by the Bridgewater Eagles lacrosse team. Again, that was Joshua Frey from Ephrata, Pennsylvania. When I look back to that inaugural game against Transylvania in 2013, I just remember the excitement and the buildup uh, leading to it. Uh, all these young men had come here uh, to be a part of history. Um, Transylvania, I believe, was in their first year and, and their inaugural game, so there was a lot of uh, excitement and nervousness. Uh, I think the first quarter kind of reflected that uh, from both teams as it was more of a feeling out process and uh, and trying to get our feet underneath us um, as the game settled in. I think Joshua Frey's goal near the end of the first quarter really kind of helped us settle in. Um, we've gotten some good shots off early in the game and hadn't quite found the back of the net. Uh, we got a great loose ball after a shot um, and fed it to uh, Josh on the crease who made a great handle and snug it past the Transylvania goalie to kind of get us going. Pass over to the uh, left side of the field. Pauly bringing it around for the uh, Pioneers. That shot's wide. That's going to be a turnover. That's going to go back over to the Eagles. Daniels has got the ball. He's coming in. Just over, just sails just over the top of the goal. He was uh, already falling when he uh, lost control of the ball and sails over the top. He, we've got a, we've got a. Uh, Possible crease violation, but he may have been blocked in the back. We'll see how this sorts out. I think he's blocked into the crease. One minute crease violation penalty. That, that's going to go down as a uh, crease violation. One minute. Looks like there might have been a possible push in the back, but the referee called it as a violation on the uh, offensive, offensive player. Good defense for the Eagles. Get the penalties up. Got a loose ball. Battle for the ball. Okay, we've got a loose ball picked up by the Eagles.
That was Mr. Hughes that got the uh, loose ball on that one. It's going to be a timeout. I've got a violation uh, on uh, Sheplick at the start of the faceoff. Ball goes over to the uh, Pioneers. Good defense again by the Eagles, pushing those guys out to the outside. They've not been able to penetrate all day. Good check. It was a shot. Picked up by the goalie. Attempt at clear was intercepted by number 38. Moran. There's a shot. It's in. He scores. Number four, Clay Douthat from Lexington, Kentucky, made the score on that one. Looked like an unassisted uh, goal, possibly. Sheplick and Ives both line up for the faceoff. Here they go. It's like Bridgewater controls. Still a loose ball. Bridgewater controls again on loose ball. Number 17, Billy Lentz. Mosby's controlling the ball right now. Bringing it out to Shepley. the goal. Pass is uh, knocked down. Pioneers control. Got a loose ball. Eagles get it back. Controlled by, looks like Zach Shelley. Excuse me, let me, Mike Shop. There's a goal. Looks like Billy Lentz. 14. Oh, 14? Yeah. Landon Elmore. Assist by 37. Got a shot by Landon Elmore with an assist by Nick Prey on that. Back up for the faceoff. Oh. Eagles control. Gers is coming down with it. Ball's knocked out. Transylvania's got it. I have to cut the loose ball. Ball's knocked loose. Still a loose ball. Great scoop. Great scoop. Daniels has got it. The shot goes wide. Eagles control. Back up to the top. Buckle controls. Slides past the defender. Looking for the cutter. There he is. The shot. There he is. Landon Elmore. Great, great pass. Great play. Cutter coming from behind the net. 
In the second quarter, um, we really kind of took control of the game, um, scoring five goals, and that was spearheaded by Landon Elmore's back-to-back -back goals uh, in the first part of the second quarter. Uh, I think his goals really kind of gave us a spark, uh, a little bit of breathing room that allowed us to really settle in and relax uh, in the game and just play lacrosse. And certainly that carried over um, for the rest of the quarter as we ended up scoring three more times that quarter. Loose ball, still controlled by Eagles. Good pass, bringing it around. Balls on the ground. Muckle controlling it. Thought about the shot, gets blocked. Mark bringing it up, looking for a cutter. Through that, through the defenders. Piners bringing it up. Herberth bringing it up from the defense. Goalie, goalie scoops it. Bus trying to clear it out. Gets the ball up to Clark. Back on the offensive side of the field for the Eagles. Setting it up behind the net again. Mar again. Good setup. Good play on defense to block that shot before it got cut going. Eagles do control it again. Daniels with the ball. Back out to Daniels. There's a shot on goal. It goes in. That's going to be Muckle on that shot from the outside. Unassisted. Great shot. Got another violation on uh, going to have a penalty on that. It's going to be against Bridgewater. Penalty on 37 play. Bridgewater is going to be a man down. Loose ball. Piner still controlling it. Penalty's up. Back up to even. Piners control that on that shot.
Great interception by the goalie. Good heads up. They've cleared it coming across the, the line. Good pass. We've got a penalty. It's going to be against the uh, Pioneers. They're going to let them play until the uh, balls either drop or goes in the goal. Okay, now they call the penalty after the uh, turnover. Looks like that penalty was on Ari Sloan. Not sure what the call, but it was one minute. May have been a slash. Got the big shot from up top. That's blocked. Goalie controls. Back out to Douth. Douth is trying to clear the ball. Bridgewater's going to get it back. Loose ball. Scooped up by Joshua Frey. Bridgewater controls again. I'm going to set it back up to the top. Daniel's got the ball. Yep, missed the pass. Ashcraft's got it. Trying to work it into the crease, man. Nick Frey's controlling the ball. Brings it back up to the top to Muckle. Muckle's driving in. Takes a shot. That's going to be wide. Bridgewater still controls. Great pass. Over to Nick Prey. That's a goal. Good assist on that. Got another violation on the faceoff. Hmm. All right, penalty's going to be on Zach Anderson. Pioneers back in control. Bridgewater's a man down. Actually, that penalty came in to be on uh, Rob Sibbins. There's a shot. Goes wide. Pioneers control. Here comes the release on the penalty. We've got uh, even teams again. Minachi came speeding in. 
That ball's loose. The scramble for it. Looks like Bridgewater's going to control it. Lucas Clark got that ground ball, controlled it, cleared it. There's an error, so it's going to be a turnover. That's going to be a timeout there. Timeout on Bridgewater. 4.53 left in the first half. It's going to be the Pioneers ball. They'll be bringing it up. A little bit of a risky pass there. He's getting checked out of bounds. Loose ball, eagle control. Almost intercepted again by Pioneers. Eagles have got it. He's knocked out of bounds on a penalty. That's going to be a penalty on number 24, Alex Wesselman. Probably high sticking on that call. That'll be a one minute penalty. So Bridgewater's going to get the ball here. There'll be a man up. Great opportunity for them to stretch the score out a little bit more. There's Cutter. Good stop by the goalie. Excellent stop. Bridgewater still controls. Another shot. Nick Prey. Again, he got the last goal. Another great feed to him. Caught it, turned his shot. That was a textbook play. Looked like there'd been a penalty on number uh, 24 on that as well. Uh, Alex Westerman's in the box. So even though uh, Pioneers have the ball, uh, Bridgewater is uh, man down on this. Excuse me. Uh, Pioneers are man down even though they've got the ball on offense. Penalties up. They've got an even field again. And the Pioneers have the ball. There was a shot. It's wide. Ball scooped out of bounds. That's going to be uh, Eagles ball. Great clear by the goalie. Down to Gerst. That ball's going to go back over to the Pioneers. And here come the Pioneers trying to clear that ball, get it back up on the uh, offensive side of the field. Good defense by the Eagles to prevent them from bringing it up. Finally get across. Got a turnover. Eagles have got the ball. Once again, great, great work over there on the defensive side by Nick. Excuse me, that's Mike Shop with that long pole. He's doing a great job on those. Time so the Eagles going to get the ball here and. Uh, Try to set it up for a final shot before the half ends. Got a whistle here. 
Looks like a crease, cr crease. crease violation against the uh, Eagles. Turn it over. It's oh. coming in for the shot. That's blocked by the goalie. Great job by Andrew Buss on the control. And there we go. That's the halftime. And once again, the Pioneers have, uh, if they've been dominant in one, one area, it's going to be, it's been in the uh, faceoff. They've won uh, nearly every faceoff. They control the ball. Bad pass. It goes out of bounds. And the Eagles get it. That's controlled by Sean LeBlanc. Goalie's got it. He's trying to clear it out. He's got a man in the middle. That ball is shaking loose and looks like the, there's a scrum. Bridgewater cleared. He's got the ball again. Bridgewater's back in control on offense. We've got a turnover. Pioneers have got it back up on the offensive end. 31 for who? Thank you. I did see that. I don't know why I didn't see that. Clear time for Transylvania. It is successful. Pioneers trying to work it around. That was a shot. Did not go in. Pioneers are controlling it. Good defense by the Eagles again. Long shot picked up by the goalie bus. He's done a great job back there today. He's going to clear it out to the uh, left side. Go over to shop. Back to bus. Having a little trouble clearing this one. We've got a long pull on the offensive side. He's going to have to get back. Here comes a substitute. That's Nathan Buckle coming back in. Ball off of the Pioneers. It goes back over to... Uh, the Eagles. There's a turnover. Pioneers are trying to clear it right now. Rogers up the field with a long pole. He hands it off to a midi. Over to Ben Irwin. Good defense once again by the Eagles, keeping them outside. Great defense. LeBlanc with a long pole, jars the ball loose. Pioneers control. Good defense. Curtis Hughes really kept him out of that crease with that long pole. We've got a turnover here again. Oh, Eagles have got the ball. Muckles got it from the top. Eagles moving it around methodically, looking looking for an opening. <laughs> We've got a call away from the ball here. Is that on? 
That was an official timeout trying to get the photographer off the back of the field. Good for his safety to get him out of there. That ball's awfully hard to get hit with it. Back in action here. Eagles working it around the perimeter. Muckle's got some pressure on him. He's been hit. Tried to hit the crease men. We've got a scrum going here. Bridgewater comes up with it. Couldn't get, couldn't get a clean shot off. Bridgewater still controls. Knocks a stick out of his hand. Alec, Nug Alex Nugent on the defense. They're going to control the ball. Pioneers clear it up to Dylan, Dylan Polly. Ball's knocked out, but uh, Pioneers still control. Derek Daniels is all over that offensive player. Good body checks. One thing for certain, Mick Grant has certainly taught these guys how to use their long poles and do some good body checks and uh, uh, poking with the ball, poking uh, the player. Turnover. Bridgewater controls. That was Curtis Hughes who came up with that loose ball. Do some subs here. Nick Price back in, as is Sam Sheplick. Got another sub in, Tilden Mosley, excuse me, Mosby. <laughs> and speaking to Mick Grant the other day, I think one of his strategies was, since he's got uh, the numbers on the players, uh, was to uh, wear down the uh, opposing team. And he certainly uh, looks like that may be Come a factor later in the game. The other team doesn't have as big a squad. Piner's got control. Goalie's going to try to clear it. Transylvania's bringing it up. Rogers has got it. We're making a break for the goal. He's picked up with the defense. He shoots, and that ball is wide. That's going to be controlled by the Pioneers. That was Clay Douthit on the attempt. Shot attempted by Alex Wesselman of the Pioneers. That went a little bit wide. Pioneers do control again. Good defense by LeBlanc. He's, he's been very good all day with that long stick. Yeah. 
Shot controlled by Buss. And he works it over to the right side of the field to, uh, oh, that's a turnover on uh, Muckle. Muckle knocks it loose, though. Ball's picked up by Chepik. Back over to Muckle. He gets hit. Ball turn, turned over back over to the Pioneers. Alex Wilson controls. Tempest shot by Douthat. A lot of traffic. Eagles have the ball on the turnover. Got Nick Prey moving down the sideline with that ball. I think we may have had a push on Sam Ives on that. On the Pioneers. That caused him to go into the crease. He's in the penalty box for the Pioneers. So your Eagles are up. Man up. Pass. Great shot. Good block by the goalie. Good save. That shot was made by Nick Prey off the pass. Bridgewater still controls. Pioneers had it briefly. Ball's back up in the air. Got a scrum for the ball. Looks like uh, Pioneers finally get the loose ball with uh, Alex Wesselman bringing it upfield. He's a freshman midi. There's going to be a there's going to be a slash call on a uh, Bridgewater player on that call. Got a continuation on the penalty. Overshoots the goal. They're still in control, so the penalty hasn't taken effect yet. He comes around. Clay Douthat was stuff on that play. Daniels on that penalty. That's finally being enforced. There's a shot. Pioneer still control. Like that shot was by Evan Wright. And that was a slashing call by number 18 during that previous uh, penalty. Bus has got the uh, play. He's uh, passed it out to the left-hand side to Ashcraft. That ball is uh, rolled all the way up to the uh, far end of the field. And it's going to be the Pioneers controlling it. Goalie's got it. He's out of the uh, box. Pioneers control it, bring it across the midline. That's Sam Ives controlling that ball.
Certainly the third quarter was more of a defensive struggle. Uh, I think our, our defense did a great job of minimizing Transylvania's uh, offensive opportunities. Uh, in close defense forced some really uh, low angle shots. Uh, Andrew Buss came up with some really good saves in that quarter, um, which was important since we also uh, struggled a little bit to find the back of the net in that third quarter, but heading into the uh, fourth quarter up six to one, um, I think certainly gave our guys a lot of energy and uh, excitement for the final quarter of the first game. And once again, the Pioneers have uh, continued their mastery on the faceoff against the uh, Bridgewater Eagles. They've won 10 out of 11 faceoffs today. So I'm sure that's something that uh, they'll be working on in practice uh, this week for the Eagles. We've got a goal. Number 38 for the Pioneers. That would be Skyler Moran out of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. That's going to make our score 62. Here comes the faceoff. And finally, Bridgewater gets a wins a faceoff, but it's quickly scooped up. Well, it looks like Pioneers have got it back now. Lost control. Bridgewater gets the ball back on an errant pass to the outside. And they're setting up the offense right now. Bridgewater's coming around for the shot. That was a great shot. Number 12, Rob Simmons out of Huntington, Maryland. That's an unassisted uh, goal. Uh, the fourth quarter certainly was uh, kind of nip tuck with Transylvania back and forth. Uh, I believe they outscored us three to two. Uh, but I was really pleased with how the team had controlled the tempo in that yeah, fourth quarter. Uh, was patient, off, you know, time took time around. off the clock, um, you know, really had extended possessions and uh, capitalized when the opportunity seized it to, to finish off with an 8-4 to four, uh, victory in their inaugural game. Certainly something that um, you know, everyone had been waiting for certainly a year in the making and allowed us to kind of uh, get off on the right foot. Turn around shot. That ball's blocked by the goalie. Looked like that shot was attempted by Kevin Ashcraft. A lot of traffic in there. That's going to be out of bounds on the uh, Pioneers back over to uh, the Eagles. Prey's controlling the ball right now. Passes over. Back to Prey. A lot of movement on that ball. That ball came out. That was a shot. There's another shot. That goes wide. Shot missed by Mosby. Bridgewater controls. Simmons, he gets the stick knocked out of his hand by Herbert. There's a shot. Defense wasn't set up. Clay Douthat slid right down and made the shot with some pressure on him. That was a good play by Douthat.
Pioneers control again on the uh, faceoff. Ives trying to drive in. He shoots. He misses. That's partially blocked by Bus. It was a good hustle by the Eagles to try to get that ball, but uh, Piner still control it. That ball's knocked loose. Eagles control. Bad pass, but they're still controlling. Looks like that ball got knocked out by Ashcraft on uh, the Eagles. Back over to uh, <laughs> almost had a score. The ball stuck in his, uh, on, his, on his net. Couldn't get the ball out, out of the uh, stick. Piners have to regroup here a little bit, get a long stick in the offensive field, got to get them out of there and uh, reset with some uh, middies. And Moran steps up, takes his place. Goals open. Bus blocks it. It looked like the Pioneers had an opportunity to score on that one, but there weren't any defenders on the player, but a great, great play by Buss. Eagles control again. Pass. Marn Chepik up top. Chaplick, the shot, it was low, blocked. Chaplick again, blocked again. Pioneers control. Herbert brings it up again for over the long pole. He's going to have to switch out. Sam Ives takes over on the offense for uh, the deep hole guy. Pioneers still control. Off a block pass. Got a long shot from the top. That was blocked. That was Ives on the shot. The Eagles control running up the sideline. That's Clark with the long pole bringing it up. He's going to step back and let the uh, midi take over for him. Seam. Got Ashcraft trying to drive in, goes back out. That shot was made by Joshua Fry, went wide. Got a slashing call. Looks like number 24 on the slash there. That'll be Alex Wesselman. That'll be a one-minute penalty. 
Eagles going to go up a man up on this uh, exchange here. Got a shot, went wide. That shot was attempted by, looked like Muckle. It was. Eagle control. Working the ball very well. That ball appeared to be off of the uh, Pioneer player. It goes back over to the uh, Eagles again. Muckle on the shot. That's blocked. Eagles still control. Got a pass and a shot. That that looks like that's blocked again. And they've got the ball. The Pioneers have uh, made it out of the man down situation very well on that that exchange. working it around the offensive perimeter. Irwin came around the wing, made a shot. It was a good, good save by the goalie. And we've got uh, the Eagles bringing it up. Clark brought that up with the long pole. He's stepping back. We've got a block. It's out of bounds, though. Pioneers will control. They've still got to clear the ball. Sloan's bringing it, bringing it up over to Clay Douthat. Five minutes left in the game. That ball's taken away by the goalie, away from Sloan. Goalie's clearing it out. Another good job by Buss on that. Daniel's trying to create something on the right side. That's uh, not going to happen. Chepik's back in the game. Chepik made a shot from the right side on that. That was blocked. Transylvania controls, and they're bringing it up. But they, they score a goal on the uh, extended penalty. Once again, Pioneers have got the faceoff. 
And they are a man up. Yeah, I'm confused. That's an interception there. The block, once again with a long pole, grabs that away from a man down situation for the Eagles and uh, makes the best of it for the uh, Eagles. Got a turnover. Pioneers got it. That's a good play by Hughes to uh, take that ball away from number 11, Alec, Alex Nugent of the uh, Pioneers. Good pass in the middle. Minacci's bringing it up. Got a minute twenty five left. Bridgewater trying to work a little bit of time off the clock here. He's coming in. Shot and a goal. Derek Daniels. I think what I'm most proud about that, you know, first game and, and looking back and reflecting is just uh, how well the guys executed, you know, for being all freshmen, um, primarily first year guys, uh, and going out and, and Bearing that weight of, of, of a program's first game, uh, school's first game, and really rising to the occasion uh, and coming out with a win was certainly a very gratifying and very proud moment. Um, I think in, in retrospect, looking back, uh, it, these guys did a great job of establishing the foundation. And uh, it's really exciting to see how far we've come in just a short time uh, in our program's history. Um, and it was great to start the Bridgewater College lacrosse program off on the right foot with the win uh, over Transylvania. And that's it. Your final eight to four Eagles. What a great opener for the Bridgewater Eagles on their home field. Win their first game for Coach Nick Grant. And you can think about it this way. Everything you've seen out here today is, is a record so far since it's the first game of the uh, uh, team's history. Congratulations to the Bridgewater Eagles on their first win.